No, you don't. You do not need a self-catch head gate if you work alone. When people are comparing a self-catch head gate to a Q-catch head gate, they often think about the catching, but they forget about the releasing. And the releasing on a self-catch head gate can be one of the most time-consuming parts. Very, very often with a self-catch head gate, the animal is caught and they're pulling back, particularly if your handles are, or controls are in the front. Because if you're standing here, it's that animal's natural re instinct to move away from you and they're pulling back. Because they're pulling back with a self-catch head gate, very often you have to let them back first, then come, chase them out of the chute, and reset the head gate. This is a very, very time consuming process. Whereas with the Q-catch system, when it's time for them to leave, you're standing behind them, you're in their flight zone, you're standing in the right spot, they are going to move away from you and they're going to walk out the front. In the Q-catch system, they are always moving forward, never moving backwards. I'm a big fan of the Q-catch head gate for any size of operation. Where, whether you're a 40 head cow-calf operation or a 400 cow-calf operation, whether you work alone or whether you work in a team, this is the best head gate on the market, bar none. You can see, this is how we, this is how we operate our head gate. Again, one lever. Head gate is always locked. I can slide this bar completely up and down so I can operate it all the way from the front or I can operate it all the way from the back. Most of the time, and I would recommend operating it from the rear. And I like to refer to this as standing in the right position. Lots of times on a lot, on a lot of different models of squeeze chutes, the handles are at the front. And I like to refer to that as being in the wrong position. If I'm standing here and cattle are coming up this alleyway, I'm standing in the wrong spot. They're coming straight towards me and they don't want to come towards me. Their natural instinct is they want to move away from me. They want to get away from any threats. They're going to view me as a threat. They want to move away from me. If I'm standing in the front, I'm standing in the wrong position. But if I'm standing in the back, I'm standing in the right position. I can open up my rolling door, animal comes up, I will open the head gate a little bit, give them a little bit of daylight, give them an exit so they can see where they're going, close the rolling door behind them, and now I'm standing here, I'm in her flight zone. I am at her hip, she wants to move away from me, it's her natural instinct to go away from me and to go out the front of the head gate. I will, as soon as she puts her head in there, I'll close it on her, she's caught. Now, probably the biggest question we get on aero cattle equipped systems is on Q-catch head gates. And, and I, if I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. Well, I need a self-catch head gate because I often work alone. No, you don't. You do not need a self-catch head gate if you work alone. This system works excellent for people that are working alone. And let me show you why. If I'm here working alone, and I work cattle alone quite often, I will open this head gate up approximately that much, just like I would do on a self-catch head gate. And you can see here that I've opened that head gate as wide as the animal's head, but not wider than their shoulders. Now, if that animal comes up and I'm not around, if I'm not on the controls, if I'm not standing here, if I'm not ready, she comes up, she sticks her head in here. The worst thing that can happen is she can stick her head in here and back up again. There is no possible way that she can get out because it is only open as wide as her head and not wider than her shoulders. And you'll see, once again, I can't open this up. I can make it tighter, 
but it automatically locks. I can't open it up. The only way to open it up is to come back here to the handle. So once again, I would open the head gate wider than her head, but narrower than her shoulders. She comes in, I'm standing in her flight zone, I push her forward, as soon as she sticks her head in there, bang, she is caught. I would now come up here, do whatever process I needed to do to her. In this example, I would give her a neck injection, neck, neck injection done, it's time for her to leave. I will come back here, I'm in her flight zone. She automatically wants to move away from me. Open that up, she walks out the front, I'll open the rolling door, next animal is coming. I will close this down, set it again, wider than the animal's head, but narrower than their shoulders. As soon as they're past the rolling door, I'll close the rolling door. As soon as the animal is in the head gate, they're caught and repeat. Neck injection, open, gone, next animal coming. and repeat.